Hi, this is Sweet June 2010. How's everybody doing today? Doing pretty good. Um, this is going to be a spiritual video. Um, I thought it was very important to do a video like this. Um, because I'm looking at everything that's going down right now. I'm looking at everything that's going on in the world right now. Everything. And we're living in some perilous times. Um, we're living in some very perilous times right now. And um, just looking at things going on, not just in the United States, but all over the world. All the stuff that's going on all over the world is... It's unreal. I mean, it's, it's like you can't, it's hard to wrap your mind around it. It's um, just when you, I know, I don't know about you guys, but just when I think I didn't heard it all, I hear something else horrific. You know, just when I think, oh, I haven't heard it all, I hear something else that shocks me. Just when I think that I can't be shocked anymore, I hear something else that shocks me. So I'm hearing about things that I've never heard before in my life, that I've never heard of people doing like you know these mothers killing their children and you know, all I've just never you never really hear heard about that too much you know uh, you just never heard about mothers killing their children because um, most mothers <laughs> would give their life would give their life for their children and now you're hearing about mothers killing their kids you know I'm constantly hearing stories about that now more than ever before and we all know about the recent shootings in Orlando. It was very sad. It just made everybody heart sick. And um, this recent police shootings and um, the the shooting of the, the two black men. And, you know, that's been an ongoing thing that's been kind of going on and on and on. Um, and now, I mean, it's just, it's, it just seems to be getting, it's just, Everything seems to be escalating. Everything is escalating and things are getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Well, I'm here to tell you that, um, for, first of all, um, as Christians, particularly as a Je of Jehovah's Witnesses, we're not shocked. I mean, we're shocked, we're shocked, but we're not shocked. If that makes sense, you know, um, because... If you read your if you read if you read your Bible if you if you're a Bible reader and you read your Bible, you know that if you read your scriptures, uh, it talks about these things in the scriptures. It talks about not these specific things happening, but it talks about hard times, hard to deal with. Um, um, it talks about you know men will be lovers of themselves, men will have no natural affection in one scripture and. Um, it, it, it talks about, there's several Bible scriptures talking about the end and how the end is near and some of the things that will take place in the last days. And like I stated in one of my other videos, you know, most people, um, most people been hearing um, these are the last days all their life. I know I've been hearing it all my life ever since I was a kid. And of course, when I was a child, I didn't understand what people were talking about when they kept saying these are the last days. I know when you're a child, you tend to you tend to think of things in a literal sense. So when I was a child, I'm like, well, what maybe what day of the week? You know, when they be saying it's the last days, I'd be like, well, no, it's only Sunday. Or you know, I, I tend to when you're a child, you tend to think of things in a literal sense. So you're thinking they're talking about the days of the week or something. But when you don't, when you're a child, you don't understand what people are talking about. But um, most people have been hearing that we're in the last days ever since childhood. I, I think my mother, um, she's probably been hearing it ever since she was a child. And she was born in 1940. And my mother's probably been hearing it ever since she was a child. And I'm going to explain to you the reason why that is. is because the, the, um, the first, the year, the, the, the beginning of the last days started... In the year 1914. The beginning of the last days started in the year 1914. So that's before a lot of people's lifespan. A lot of people was born after 1914. 
So unless you got somebody that, you know, is over 100 years old. So most people were born after 1914, but that was the beginning of the last days. Now, 2000 and for, as of 2014, that was the 100 year reign. 2014 was the 100 year reign. So now things are, um, 2000, 2014 was the 100 year reign. So now things are really coming to a head now. See, this is after the 100 year reign. So things are really starting to come to a head now. And Bible prophecy is being fulfilled, you know. And a lot of people can see it. A lot of people know that we are in the last days. A lot of people are um, know that we're in the last days. But if they don't have an accurate knowledge of the Bible, they don't fully understand. But if, you, if, you're, you're, if you're a Bible reader, then you understand, you know, what that means. You understand what the signs are. You know, the Bible talks about various signs. Uh, various things that's going to occur throughout the world before the end is the end comes uh, before Jehovah God sends his son Jesus Christ back and um, I know I'd like to share a scripture with you and that scripture is in Matthew 24 1 43 I know 42 through 44 I'm going to read it. It says, Keep on the watch, therefore, because you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know one thing, if the householder had known in what watch the thief was coming, he would have kept awake and not allowed his house to be broken into. On this account, you too prove yourselves ready because the son of man is coming in an hour that you do not think it will be now that scripture is telling us to stay on the watch it's telling us that we need to stay on the watch um i, I mean I, I really that that one scripture about the thief i kind of i kind of i kind of when i every time i read that scripture i'm like Man, I, I really can relate to that scripture because, I mean, if you've ever gotten robbed, I know I got robbed, my house got robbed one time. And if you've ever gotten robbed, you can kind of relate to that scripture. Every time I read that, I kind of can really relate to it because I literally got robbed before. And if you've any, I don't know about you guys, but if any of you guys ever gotten robbed, you know how that is. It's like they literally waited for us to go to, to leave, my son to go to school, for me to go to work. And I got robbed in broad daylight. So somebody was watching my house. And so, um, you know, I had no, I was not nowhere near aware that I was going to be robbed. You know, had I known I was going to be robbed, I probably would have tried to get an alarm system put in. I would have tried to take more precautions. And um, I think I left a window open. Go figure. See, that's what I'm saying. Had I known I was going to be robbed, I probably would close the windows. I would have probably got an alarm system. You know, I would have probably secured the house a little bit more, you know, and I would have been protected. But I had no idea I was going to be robbed. I had never been robbed before in my life. So that when I read that scripture, that really hits close to home to me. <laughs> and I could really, really relate to that, you know, and it helps me meditate on that scripture more after I read that. And so what, it, what, the, what the scripture is basically saying is, is that, um, it, it's, it, you know, uh, Jehovah's going to strike, he's going to send Jesus to come out of time. He's going to come like a thief in the night, you know. And, and um, a lot of people are not going to be aware. A lot of people are not going to be aware that he's even coming. And that's why that scripture is telling us to stay on the watch. That we need to stay on the watch. Because I'm looking at all these things that happen. I know that everybody else, a lot of people is noticing that things are starting to really escalate. And you know, and I tell people all the time, it's going to get worse before it gets better. You know, they don't want to hear it. And understandably so. But it, according to Bible scripture, things will get worse before it gets better. Unfortunately. But like I said, if you're a Bible reader and you read the Bible and you study the Bible, then you understand that these the reason why these things are happening you know um because like i say and first of all 
um, like I stated in one of my other videos, um, Satan knows his time is short. See, for one thing, Satan knows that his time is short. And he, he knows that when Jesus comes back, it says in the Bible, when Jesus comes back, Satan will be in prison for a thousand years. And then he will be let out for a time. You know, so um, Satan knows that he knows that he knows Satan used to be an angel in heaven, but he got hurled out of that out of heaven on into onto the earth. Everybody thinks that Satan is down below. No, he's not. Satan is roving the earth. And the Bible says that. He's roving the earth. The Bible says that Satan is the god of this world. And and because he got hurled onto the earth. And ever since he got hurled down there, it started with Adam and Eve. The, it started with the deception of Adam and Eve when he deceived Adam and Eve. It all started with that. And then he's been wreaking havoc ever since. He's been deceiving people ever since. So Satan knows that his time is short. So he's turning up the heat. This is why things. it seems like things are getting worse and worse. That's why. Because Satan, people that don't have a close relationship with God, people um, people that um, have a worldly mindset and a worldly way of thinking, they don't have a close relationship with God. Um, they they give in to these they give in to these evil thoughts. The evil thoughts that they're having and all this and people say, well, they was mentally ill and all this kind of stuff, but um and I know mental illness is real, and I understand that. But um, um, people, Satan uses all these things. See, Satan uses all these things to get a window into people's soul. And when he gets a window into to people's soul, that um, a lot of things, you know, he he knows. Even even us, and even us Christian people are not exempt. I think he probably messes with us more than he do people in the world um he uh, i think he attacks christian people more people that's trying to serve god he attack us more than you know because he's trying to get us away from god he knows he's already got the people in the world well he's trying to get us pull us away so just like he did with joe when he tried to joe was one of uh, jehovah god's most faithful ser servants and he said i bet you if you take everything away from him he'll stop serving you and jehovah said yeah go ahead and put him to the test and he did and you know and, and 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 so it didn't work i mean um joe suffered and he went through a lot and he questioned and everything and he didn't understand what was going on but at the end of the day he still remained faithful to jehovah god so um that's what we have to do but the thing is um satan knows that his time is short the thing is he knows that his time is short and he's trying to get as many people on his side of the fence as he can get. He's trying to get as many people on his side as he can get. Because he knows his time is running out. And so um, that the scriptures in the Bible, Bible prophecy is being fulfilled to let us know that the time of the last days is getting near. And it's getting closer and closer and closer to the end. I know you've been hearing it all your life. I've been hearing it all, all my life. But the 2014, like I said, was the 100-year reign. And so it's after the 100-year reign. So now the heat is really going to start turning up now. So now is the time to start drawing close to Jehovah God. This is the time for us to start drawing closer. And when I'm talking to you guys, I'm talking to myself too. It's, it's time for us to start um, stepping up our game. It's time for us to start drawing close to Jehovah God. It's time to start thinking about whose side of the fence you want to be on. You want to be on Satan's side. You want to be on Jehovah God's side. I don't know about you, but I want to be on Jehovah's God's side of the fence. Okay? Because um, it's, it's really, really, really getting close. Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. And we are... We are um, we, it's time. We got to be on the watch. We got to be on the watch because because the trip of the great tribulation is coming. It's coming. It's near and it's coming. And, you know, we got to be on the watch. It's time, you know, it's time for us to start thinking about, you know, like I said, whose side of the fence we're going to be on. Um, you know, it's time to start drawing close to Jehovah God. And it's time for people to start drawing close. Because time is getting very near. Um, you can see all the signs around you. All, not just the stuff you, in America, but all over the all over the world. 
stuff is just breaking off all over the world. Terrorist attacks is breaking off all over the world. Uh, I, I, I could sit here. I, I would be here all night if I went to naming off every all the stuff that's happening in the world over the past year. I, I'd probably be sitting here all night. And I don't have all that kind of time on here, but it's it's you you guys know if you watch the news every day, you know what's going on. You know, um, you watch the news. I know I watch the news. I try to catch the news every day um, because I, I like to watch the news as a reminder. You know, so I don't so I don't I don't because uh, you know Satan is all kind of distractions. We got all kind of distractions. Satan is always trying to distract us all the time. Um, and we're we're imperfect, so we're 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 always distracted. We have so many distractions. Um, all of us, all of us, Christians, non-Christians, whoever, we all have a lot of distractions. We're we're a lot of, we're distracted. He distracts us one way or the other, whether it's worrying about our finances, whether it's worrying about our jobs, or uh, worrying about this, worried about that, whether we're worrying about um, how are we going to get more money and all this and that and the other. You know, social media, TV, all this. We, we have so many distractions in this system. And so it's, it's hard. Sometimes it's, it's easy to veer off track. Sometimes it's easy to lose sense of um, spiritual, you know, spiritual things, you know. Um, and, and, and sometimes you, know, you, you really, really have to. We, we're at a time now we really have to start being diligent, diligent about staying on the watch. And we got to start stepping up our game, people. That's why I told myself, June, you want to start stepping up your game. Because, um, you know, something's something about to go down. It's, it's some stuff that's about to go down in the world right now. You know, something, something's getting, you know, something's getting ready to go down. And, and, and if you don't have the spiritual strength, if you're not spiritually strong, then it's going it's gonna, you're going to have a hard time, you know, if you're not spiritually strong. So this is the time for us to start building ourselves up spiritually. We have to we have to be spiritually ready um, for the times coming up. Uh, black people, white people, everybody. Uh, we we, we got to be spiritually ready. We got to be spiritually strong um, because um, times are perilous. Uh, we're getting close to the very end, people. I, I, I felt it, it was on my heart to do this video. It was on my heart to do this video today. It was really heavy on my heart to do this video. Um, Jehovah God is putting it in my spirit, put it in my spirit, and it's been heavy on my heart to do this video today. I was at the meeting, my meeting today, and I was thinking about this video. So um, it's been on my heart. So I'm letting you guys know that the time is near. It's time for us to, you know, step up our game. And I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about myself, too. We got to start stepping up our game. We got to step it up because... It's 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 gonna it's it's some stuff that's getting ready to go down. It's gonna get worse. Things are gonna get worse before they get better. And we, if you don't have that that spiritual strength, if you don't have that close relationship with Jehovah God, you you're gonna be lost. You're gonna be lost. So, um, that that scripture that I read it says, "Stay on the watch." Very, we gotta be very vigilant, people, and we gotta stay on the watch. Now, I want you guys, if you watch this video, please like and share this video. Because I want to get this message out to as many people as, as I can get. Um, um, I'm going to give a shout out to the, the website, jw.org. Check it out. Um, let, let us know if you want. There's a kingdom hall in every city. So let us know if you want to study or whatever like that. Uh, we about the truth. Jehovah's Witnesses, the organization is about the truth. We're about teaching people the truth of the Bible. Don't 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 listen to what people tell you about Jehovah's Witnesses. We're about preaching the truth of the Bible. Okay, so we're about pre preaching the truth. We're gonna show you show you. We, we, I mean, we from the show you stay. We're gonna show you what the Bible says. We're not gonna just like a lot of ministers that you go to these churches. We don't just tell you what the Bible says. We show you what the Bible says. So we will show you in your Bible what it says. Okay, check out jw.org. Like and share this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Sweet June 2010. God bless.